Hello, motherfuckers, it's Agony333, and we're here for another fucking movie review. This one is Deep Blue Sea 2, which I mentioned at the beginning to, and I already have my fucking smoke lit, and uh, yeah, I have the case here as well, for a specific reason. Not because that the box art is really cool, but uh, for some jokes, and that was what I was going to mention here, is here's a little forewarning before this review. This one may be rife with lots of criticism, lots of harsh jokes, and lots of, uh, yeah, plenty of fun, good old shit like that, because yes, this movie is fucking, uh, <laughs> keep in mind, these jokes and these things, they're jokes, okay? I'm not trying to be a complete asshole, but I joke in an asshole-like fashion, and, uh, this movie's fucking terrible, and it's been a long time. I've been basically giving ratings fucking 10s and 9s and 8s and all that great shit, you know, being really nice. So I thought it was about time I'd become a fucking asshole for a review for once. And I, god damn it. Alright, I gotta relight my smoke before I tear into this thing. But alright, if you guys are here for a rant, let's fucking do it! Alright, fuck this. I'm ready to rant on this motherfucker. Okay, and another thing. I forgot, just like the last review, because yes, this is after that last review I'm recording too today. I forgot to put the information down again on the times and even a rating and all that. But you know what? Fuck it. This film doesn't deserve that shit. I don't give a shit what anybody says. This film doesn't deserve that crap. Joking, of course. Don't take any of this harshly. Movie makers, anybody that actually likes this movie... I jokingly rant. Out of the way now. Okay, so the first fucking point here that I thought I would say is if you look here at this beloved box art and thing, it says stronger, wiser, deadlier. And this is what I thought I would say. Stronger, wiser, deadlier. It should have been weaker, dumber, and docile as fuck. Because yes, this film... It's docile as fuck. It ain't having much in terms of intense shark action like the front would fucking make you think it does. Look at the front here. This is another example I'll be having. If you look at the front here, remember this cover fucking thoroughly because it'll be coming back shortly. But this is what I'm going to go ahead and say is that essentially this is a half-assed rehash of the first one. Except it doesn't have Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Jackson, which was an awesome fucking actor. It doesn't have the fucking intensity like this cover would show. It doesn't have... It lacks all of what made the first one great. It's a, it's a low-budget rehash, I'm sorry to say, everyone. There will be surprisingly some positives later on in this review, though. But it is a half-assed rehash, is what I said. And I also put here... That it was actually worse the second time viewing it, because at least the first time, I tried to take it seriously. This time, I just didn't give a shit, and I was laughing through, the, through most of it, almost falling asleep through the other part. So, there's that as well. And yes, the cover example. Here is a major fucking reason why this film's terrible, other than it being a rehash. And it's specifically one of these reasons. What made the first one so great? I would say it was the terrifying, big-ass, well-done, well, you know, computer-generated looking sharks and other shit like that, you know, the models and whatever else. The, the design of them, like I mentioned in that first fucking review. So look at this cover. So I guess you didn't have to memorize it or remember it. I'm showing it again. But what's on this cover, guys? Big-ass fucking sharks. Big-ass, pissed-off, mean, menacing, awesome fucking sharks, right? What's the problem here? Well, most of what you're going to see in this movie isn't big-ass fucking sharks. It's little fucking baby sharks. And who the fuck wanted to buy this or any kind of shark movie to see little fucking baby sharks, for fuck's sake? I want to see Mama and Papa Shark tear up the fucking ocean. Not little fucking piss-ant fucking baby sharks, for fuck's sake. Yes, I don't know what it's about. I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's budget reasons. But for the most part of this movie, you're just going to see these little fucking piranha fish looking fucking sharks swimming after people in these corridors. That ain't what I paid to see. That isn't what anyone wanted to see. I mean, 
They make movies like this Megalodon mega fuck shark for a reason. Because people want to see giant mega fuck sharks. They don't want to see these little baby bitch sharks, okay? I don't want to see this shit. And yeah, false fucking advertising. Because there is no fucking, there is big sharks. But they ain't in the fucking goddamn corridors like in the first one. Okay, as you can tell, I just don't give a shit. I'm just going to go completely fucking crazy in this review. But this is another thing I was going to say. If you really wanted something that was truer to the Deep Blue Sea formula, you'd be much better off either watching my playthrough of Submersed or buying the fucking game Submersed. Because even with people griping about that game, that is a much fucking better thing than spending money on this. That's what I'll say. So Submersed is better. It's a better experience, and that's a video game, by the way. Check it out. Really awesome, even though that's, you know, probably not the highest budget and everything. Got its own flaws. Really enjoyed it, so fuck it. And I already showed the cover. But here's the positives. A lot of it is negatives. Almost all of it is negatives. And here's another thing that I'll also mention that I thought was kind of hilarious. One of the actors in there has a hairdo like mine, so... That made me kind of laugh and just be like, well, now I feel even more of a fucking stupid fuck than I already felt before. <laughs> it's fucking great. I couldn't take it seriously. And yeah, now because of this film and things like that, you're going to take me probably less seriously. Well, fuck. Anyways, jokes aside again, that's what I'll say positive-wise. I don't believe this film was meant to be all that serious. And like I said, these fucking rants and this stupid shit is essentially just me joking and ripping into this film for a laugh, whatever. But it's not meant to be taken all that seriously like the first one I don't think was. You know, the first one was done in a more serious way. This one, not so much. And I think they knew that, the you know creators, actors, they knew that. And that's another positive thing, is I did watch the bonus features and stuff. And so really, you know, even though I'm joking around, you know, you can tell that the cast and crew, they had fun making this. And so that's the other thing, you know, maybe always... These films don't have to be, you know, the ultra serious and awesome spectacle uh, spectacle that we want. You know, it's still cool at least that they had fun making it. And at least it is a sequel to something great. So at least it's a little bit of something more of that. And there are some moments that are all right. You know, the, the entire film isn't that terrible. It's just not exactly what I would have honestly wanted. But here's another thing that I'll put here. There may be a chance that some of you actually like this film. And reasons for that would be if you're a big enough fan of the original or if you just like shark movies, even if they're cheesy, then you still have a chance that you may enjoy this film, you may like this film, may want it for your collection and shit. But for those of us kind of like me who care more so at least for a little bit of seriousness, a little bit at least, this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> Guys, this isn't what I fucking wanted. Not at all. But I have it for my collection, I guess. And like I said, at least they had fun making it. And at least it's here. And here's another thing that I'll maybe slightly spoil. Is that out of the three, because yeah, it's a trilogy now. I would say this is the weakest of them. So, at least it made they made a third one, and it actually was an improvement over this one. So that's what I'll say. I'll get that out of the way before I ever make that review, because I'll probably eventually review Deep Blue Sea 3. Because, yeah, I'm a fool enough to not learn my lesson the first time and buy this, but also to go ahead and buy its sequel even when the one is terrible. But, yeah, I was, you know, surprised. The third one actually stepped it up a little bit more. I'll stay with what I said, though. The first one is the best of all three. But the second one is just fucking god damn it. And the third one is at least a little bit better, so at least there's that. But since I fucked up, and since I didn't put any of the info there, I have to basically just make a fucking rating here. So what would I give it? It sure as fuck can't be average. I can't give this thing average. I'm sorry, but the effects are terrible. There's just nothing but an abundance of baby bitch sharks... When we want to see fucking badass, big chomping motherfuckers. And the acting is just... You know, maybe they're first-time actors. Or maybe there's someone like me who's not all experienced in acting. I don't know. But <laughs> everything that could go wrong went wrong with this fucking film. That's what I'll say. And so with that being said, 
I cannot give this a fucking average rating. So instead, I'll just settle on four, basically, something like that. Because, yeah, you know, the most you might get out of this, unless, like I said, you're a big fan of the original and you love the series enough that you want more, or if you just like shark movies that much, even if they're cheesy, you want more. The most that you'll get if you're not one of those fucking people is you'll get a laugh or something to put you to fucking sleep. That's basically what you're going to get out of this movie. And so, yeah, it's a fucking four. But now let's get into the fucking spoilers! Everybody else, peace. And let's get into the nitty gritty and more laughs about this fucking thing. Why don't we? All right. So I already slashed its fucking slogan on the front there. Because, yeah, it is docile as can fucking be. Gave it for a warning, half-assed rehash, worst time, second time. Here, here's what I thought was funny. It was when they're in their little laboratory and everything else. There's a scene, you know, in the original it was pretty neat when the sharks were doing more intelligent things and they were adapting, getting smarter. It was somewhat believable. It was, you know, at least to me, you know, as a kid and even now, it's, it was handled quite well. It wasn't so obnoxious. But the one, the things that they put in this one to try to top the first one, it didn't top the first one. It was just fucking laughable. And one of those things being was that apparently how they get out this time was that they tunneled under the fence. Yeah, that's right. They, they burrowed. They, they got on their fucking little shark bellies and wobbled about apparently to, to dig up a fucking tunnel under the fence line to get the fuck through. <laughs> So essentially, what are we dealing with here? Are we dealing with sharks or dog sharks? Because what the f <laughs> fucking digging through the ground, really, like, it was just so fucking absurd. And just even the way the actors handle that, it's just, it's, I can't take none of it seriously at all. And then, if that wasn't bad enough, there's a scene later on where there's this guy named Durant, which, by the way, reminds me of a show called Hell on Wheels. Much fucking better. Check that show out. Check out the show Hell on Wheels. If you like westerns, if you like really good fucking shows that are underrated, check out Hell on Wheels. There's a character named Durant in that. Fucking great acting. Very underrated show. But this Durant is a fucking bitch. And this Durant is a fucking fool. But, you know, to be honest, I mean, and to be fair, most of the actors in this film, yeah, are like that. So it's not trying to point this person out in specific. I'm just mentioning the name in, for this particular joke and moment right here. Which is, if that burrowing under the ground wasn't enough for the dog sharks, apparently they can eavesdrop too, the sharks can. Because there's a moment where he's talking about his study and all this other shit and how he's going to kill these sharks when he's done with them. Because he's just such a fucking asshole, of course. Everybody heading these projects is just a fucking asshole. But the shark is sitting at the window fucking eavesdropping on this shit. And... Not only eavesdropping like a person would, but somehow eavesdropping through the fucking window and through the metal and everything else. They have fucking supersonic hearing now, guys. They have supersonic fucking hearing. How absurd is that shit? And just, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, the, when I put more thought into it this time as well, it was even more so laughable for things like that. It, a shark is eavesdropping in the fucking water and knows what you, a human being is saying. And... Oh, just fuck this. Just fuck this shit. Okay, next thing. The other thing that's funny is in the original, which, so this is spoilers for the original, the fucking helicopter is what crashed into the surface level and caused things to start fucking up. And the sharks were smart and they used those things from the helicopter and shit as battering rams and crap like that, right? Anyways, here, who left the boat on? I mean, maybe I missed something. Maybe it was, like I said, I was half-ass asleep and fucking tired of this ridiculous fucking absurd movie. But who left the fucking boat on on the surface? Because the fucking boat, just out of nowhere, just fucking careens to life and smashes into the fucking dock. And that's what causes shit. So did the boats fucking... Not the boats. Did the sharks fucking wobble up on deck and fucking flip the switch? Like, what the fuck happened here? The fucking boat went crazy and smashed into the dock and started blowing shit up. And so that's what happened this time. But like I said, I don't know what the fuck happened with any of this film. I don't know what fucking happened with any of this film. Next fucking thing that I thought was hilarious is mimicking the first one. 
there's a fucking moment where they have this the shark's mouth pried open but instead of taking a sample like in the first one they do things differently okay differently as in even more fucking absurd and i apologize if you hear the mowing neighbors people getting things done unlike me i'm i'm, I'm here at a review right now sorry but this time to keep the mouth open of the shark, they pry, they take a fucking two by four and jam it in its fucking mouth of a fucking live shark. A two by four, splinters from hell, right? For the shark. No wonder they're so pissed off. Next thing is they use this giant fucking cotton swab to get a sample. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, that's what I'm saying. Every, all these things I mentioned are just so goddamn absurd. It's just hilarious. It's fucking stupid. And then. You know, last but not least, I didn't have much else, other notes to put there and other things. But I thought this particular moment was pretty funny. And this moment that I'm referring to is towards the end with our great, wonderful, mad scientist Durant, who's basically rehashing the same fucking thing as the first one, except a little bit different. There is some differences there, I should point that out. But... The thing that I thought was funny was his display of an underwater roar towards Bella, the fucking mom shark. It, he literally roars at this fucking shark underwater for fuck's sake. He roars at it to try to assert dominance and then bursts to the surface to say and proclaim how he's the master of Bella before she not only... Before she doesn't just tear him a new ass, she eats him in fuck entirely. She rips... She tears the part that was his asshole away entirely and fucking ingests him. So, yeah, that didn't work. Your underwater fucking Lion King roar didn't fucking work, dickhead. And, uh, yeah, Bella doesn't give no shit. And funny enough, Bella is obviously the name of, of the fucking Twilight princess here. Which, I don't know why this keeps reoccurring, but I'm not watching that fucking film, at least right now, no. Maybe one day I'll watch it and rip that one to shreds. Not today, it's just Deep Blue Sea 2 today. So, yeah, they, I would imagine, didn't take this very seriously, but they had fun with it. And so now all the jokes are out of the side, all the stupid jokes and stupid shit. And that's what I'll say, you know, while it was very laughable, whatever else, in a way, a little bit enter entertaining, because at least it, you know, offered some laughs, and at least it continued Deep Blue Sea 2 and stuff like that. So like I said, I don't know where you guys will stand on the fence for this. For me, it was more so just on the terrible side, but at least I guess it's there, and at least it made the third one. And uh, for others, though, they may find some enjoyment out of this or find it absurd enough to enjoy it. I know there were friends that I've had that liked the Sharknado movies just because of how laughably absurd those are. So, But I've never watched those movies. I don't know if I'll be getting to those, what I'll be doing, and all that. But that is all that I fucking have to say. So, I hope that you all have a great, wonderfully, amazing, fucking, fantastic goddamn day. And uh, pick the right shark movie to watch. Not this one. One that's more so good, I recommend The Meg, you know, with Jason Statham. Good film. Deep Blue Sea 1. And I'm sure there's quite a lot of others that I can't think of at this particular fucking time. But there, yeah, there's others that are good. But just not this one. But I hope you have an amazingly fantastical goddamn day. And this is Agony333, and I'm signing out. I will see you guys in the next review I do, or maybe even, you know, Deep Blue C3. I don't know what I'll be doing next. I don't know if I'll be doing a disturbing movie review, another regular horror movie review. I don't have a fucking clue. But I'll see you guys in that next one. Have a great, wonderful day, people. Peace.